We were on the test server today for three hours. We did a whole bunch of heroes. We're gonna go over the hardest hitting fire epic hero there is. I believe she's the hardest hitting. If you look at the vortex, temporal vortex today and look at all the people fighting her, you can look at this one who has this hero, which is called Tonal Nanan. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong with that, but she does insane damage. Anytime anybody procs wild, even herself, she'll get this increase of critical damage, which can go up to 100% additional critical damage. Now, everybody I'm testing on the test server has 100% chance to crit, so that really plays a factor in her doing damage, and she can even sustain by herself. She'll just slowly get this buff up. Much better if we bring in this rare that has a 60% chance to do wild. And I'm going to show you the comparison of the two different damages. We did a whole bunch of damage with Erich as well. So if you want to look down below in the spreadsheet, you can see his damage. If you want to look for the video, I'm going to be dropping the video tonight comparing his damage that he does as well as another rare that I've got up against him. So that's a really cool video. So be on the lookout for that one. It's going to come after this video. So this is the one we're testing. She does insane damage by herself. She does really good damage with another wild person there. And I run everybody five minutes through the test dummy. We're going to shorten it, of course, really quick just to show you the numbers and how she's functioning. She's a really great unit to get damage on this temporal boss. She's got no other like debuffs, right? To help you out going through content. But she does do a lot of damage, especially in longer boss battles. So if you have somebody that you just want to take down quickly and you can sustain her, keep her alive, then yeah, throw her in there. Throw her in there to take out the Phoenix Bird or something else. She will do a lot of damage. This is the test server. This is the gear we're going to use on all the heroes that we've been testing out. We're using this artifact so we can get crit rate and attack mainly the crit rate so everyone could be at 100% crit rate. The bonus for the artifact that procs here is only for Havatar, so it's not going to work for anyone. And then we've got crit rate gear here, attack and crit rate, attack and crit rate. Now we'll have 100% crit rate on all of them, so it will be very consistent as far as damage goes for us to be able to test out all the heroes and see how well they do on the dummy, level one dummy for five minutes. But we're gonna skip forward through this. You can see the damage meter on the side. And now this is by herself. So she only when she procs wild, she's gonna get that critical damage buff. And of course we do have 100% crit rate, which would be really hard to do on a brand new account, but we are heading into getting better and better gear. And I'm able to do it with actual gear that we would be at level 90. You would just have to farm a good amount. We're using crit rate gloves and you probably wouldn't have an artifact with so much crit rate. But as far as the other crit that we have, pretty easy to obtain if you're farming epic gear. And then if you're into legendary gear, you're gonna easily be able to get her the crit rate she needs so that she can feed off this critical damage that she's getting. That's a critical damage buff. You can see she gets an attack buff as well. And then she's only got a 30% chance with each of her skills to be able to get that critical damage buff. She has to proc wild or somebody else needs to proc wild. So she's only at nine stacks at two minutes and 32 seconds. We're going to skip forward a little bit more and see how many stacks. Max stacks at 20. She's not even at max stacks. Nowhere near it. And we're at a minute into a minute left. Of our five minutes so we really need somebody in here with her that's procking wild quite off quite often so that's what i'm gonna do we're gonna throw this little rare in here that has a 60 percent chance every time she does her abilities to proc wild and we're gonna see that she gets wild up much much faster i'm sorry let's go back to that damage she did so she's at 762,000 damage in a five minute fight just by herself still amazing damage really really amazing damage even compared to legendaries so just check my other videos to see what those legendaries are doing and check the spreadsheet as i update it all right back to this so she's gonna proc wild they're both gonna proc wild which is gonna get this up much faster we're already at seven stacks at four minutes and ten seconds nine stacks we want to get up to that 20 as quickly as possible because even on the Vortex boss, we can't fight that guy forever. He keeps getting stronger and stronger. Then he'll eventually just blow our team up. But here we're already at 15 stacks, two minutes into the fight. 16. Let's keep going. And there's the damage on the right. Damage meter's up. She's reaching that 700,000, which we already saw her do by herself. But now she's up to 20 stacks. So she's got full stacks. It still seemed to take a little while. That's why if you have multiple wild heroes, like that one team we saw, they, re they reached 30 million 
on the boss. Obviously, they've got great gear. They've already got legendary gear, and they're using a lot of legendaries in that team. But even if you don't have any legendaries, these two together are fantastic. And I haven't unlocked the Vortex boss yet on the test server. As soon as I do, we'll throw these into the, the Vortex boss. We'll, we'll throw it into the boss and see what they do on the boss so we can actually see something besides this dummy. I'd really like to see how much damage we can get with using these two along with our adventure and just a few other heroes, you know, like support heroes or something, and see how much damage we can get. See how far we can get into getting those amazing rewards on the Vortex boss. I'll work on unlocking that tonight. Unfortunately, it's not unlocked on the test server. Look at our damage already, 872,000. Let's go. So a big difference, a pretty big difference from our 720 maybe it was before. Yeah, she's up to 944. <laughs> she really started pumping out the damage. So 947,000 because we had her proccing wild. She's She's got no gear on her, by the way. We're not worried about the damage she's doing right now. Though I do have gear on her loaded out completely in our video with the same gear that she's using right now to show you how much damage she can do along with um, Erich because she actually does good damage, really good damage. So let's go back over here to the 700, 762,000. 947. So almost 200,000. Pretty damn sweet. Just to put another person in there that's going to proc some more wild. And those wild people, <laughs> those wild units do do some wild damage. So it works out well. This unit is very good. Again, single target damage dealer. If you have her, I would level her up just for the Vortex boss. I would level up this rare if you don't have anybody else, any other uh, wild heroes. And if you do, I would still level her up, this one, if you don't have that many. If you got all those legendaries, then go for it. Don't worry about her. But if you don't, if you got like one legendary that's a wild proc rate, and then these three, those three together, a lot of damage. Get that up to that 20 stacks much quicker. Get her as much critical crit rate as you can. Get that crit rate on her so that she'll take advantage of that critical damage, and then you're good to go. You're going to be blowing through it. Once we get that Vortex boss unlocked here, I'll throw them in there and we'll come out with another video. That's all I've got, guys. Just want to let you know how amazing this lady lizard is. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all in a video soon.